At ease, Brainiacs. Today we're going to calculate just how many transistors we can pack into a CPU. Now, Moore's law says that the number of transistors on a chip doubles roughly once every year and a half. So far, this law is upheld pretty well, but scientists have had to be pretty clever in the last decade to keep overcoming weird quantum mechanical effects. But of course, regardless of how clever we are, the modern transistor requires three electrodes, each made of at least one silicon atom. So eventually there's no more smaller to get. Assuming the perfect transistor requires exactly three silicon atoms, we could calculate just how dense we could pack them in when Moore's law reaches its logical conclusion. A typical CPU is three centimeters on each side and one centimeter tall. A silicon atom has a radius of roughly 200 picometers. Dividing the volume of a chip by the volume of three silicon atoms, we get that we can fit 10 to the 23rd transistors on a chip. Processor manufacturers aren't entirely forthcoming with the number of transistors on their chips. But when Apple announced the M3 in 2023, they claimed it had 25 billion transistors. Assuming that quantum mechanics doesn't mess with us too much, that means it will take 60 years for us to hit the physical limit that I mentioned before. Just for context, 60 years ago, we hadn't yet put men on the moon. And when we finally did, we did it with computers that were weaker than a modern calculator. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty excited to see what a 2085 computer does.